Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Sorry about that false start earlier, but uh, had some technical difficulties. Also got an unexpected phone call and just realized that I was kind of getting off to a bad start there because I was not really focusing on what I wanted to focus on uh, in talking about this game. So let me just try to sum up uh, the plan here. So um, the reason I'm streaming Space Hulk today is because the new uh, full control strategy game uh, Jagged Alliance Flashback just got released on Steam. And so rather than taking a look at that game, which uh, for what I understand is in a fairly incomplete state despite the fact that it's been officially released, I wanted to look back on the previous game which shipped in a similar fashion uh, last year uh, where you know there were a lot of features that people either wanted or were expecting or you know had otherwise been promised that weren't available at launch uh, for this game either um, and so I'm kind of looking at this as a uh, let's look at this previous game and kind of their track record for how they supported it post release as kind of an indicator as to what might happen with the Jagged Alliance game um, you know, I'll put aside any of my own personal uh, qualms about the idea of releasing a game officially without it being feature complete or completely done. I think that's a discussion for another time, and maybe I'll talk a little bit about that with um, Blue Orthodox on the next Talismania episode. Uh, but for the purposes of this stream, let's just concentrate on the task at hand, which is kind of looking at the most current version of Space Hulk and seeing how it stacks up uh, considering how uh, much post-development or post-launch development has taken place with it. So they actually did release a patch for this game uh, fairly recently, like within the past week, uh, that addressed some bugs and other issues. Uh, but I feel like content-wise... This game's been pretty locked down now for at least the past several months. Like, I'm not aware of any new major content being released for it. And I believe uh, a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're actually working on a new version of this game. I'm not actually sure if they're, if they're trying to rework this current version of the game into something new, or if they're actually planning on selling a new version of it. But the, the gist that I get from looking at their forums and uh, information that I can find about this game is that there's some new version in the works uh, which is either going to replace this uh, existing one or be literally be a new game in the Space Hulk sort of series. Um, Our assault cuts but let's just jump in to here to a mission. But one of our cyber-altered task units has been lost in the zone beyond our perimeter. We must have the information it carries. For failure in this will bring ruin to all. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. Two squads are at your command. You will deploy your terminators here. Scans have detected gene stealer presence in these areas. You must retrieve the 40 CAT. The enemy seem to know what we intend. They approach. So, as before, one of the best things about this game are the uh, narrations, the pre-mission narrations. I think that uh, that dude's really nailing the Warhammer 40k voice, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh, so we're going to deploy these gods and exit the level with the cat. Uh, so, let's go ahead and give this a whirl. I've actually done this mission cooperatively with Blue Orthodox, at least a previous version of it. But one thing I can tell you for sure that I notice that's different from the last time I've seen this map is that the exit zones seem to have been shrunk, uh, whereas the exit zone used to take up this whole hallway so that you like could go anywhere to here and forward to exit the level. It seems like now you have to make it all the way to the end of the hall to do that. So that's going to be a bit of a change since the last time I did this. And then uh, I think other than that, this level is looking pretty much the way it did uh, when I played it co-op. But 
Let's go ahead and get our units positioned and see what we can do. All right, so uh, let's see this guy. So these are all the, this is a full squad of Terminators. Um, this guy's a melee unit, so we'll put him up front. And we'll have these guys back him up. And then... Uh, I bet I have to deploy, yeah, that's right, I have to deploy these guys on the other side, don't I? No? Where's that other deployment zone? There we go. Okay, sorry to switch. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and bring these guys in. So now, where is the cat? Because I thought the cat was actually part of this squad. Unless this has changed since the last time I saw it. This is weird. This scenario doesn't seem to be the same as the last time I played through it. Because I could have sworn that one of these five units was the unit I actually had to escort out. But it doesn't seem labeled like it used to be. Unless I'm just missing something. that I didn't get to place or do I have to find it and then retrieve it I'm missing something here I can't remember exactly what's going on with this oh well I'm sure we'll figure it out or die trying probably die trying that's probably what's going to happen okay so let's see this guy is a Bolter, which means he can go on Overwatch, which is good. And okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get a move on here. So I've got a, I've got all my shared points this round, which is good. So let's see the before. Yeah, let's get this guy set up and aiming down this hallway uh, to cover any gene stealers that might appear. We'll go ahead and put him on Overwatch. Uh, why can't you go on Overwatch? Oh, 
Uh, does Overwatch take two? Yeah, of course it does. Ah, that's right. It's been a while since I've played this, so... Not quite remembering all the details, but it's alright. We'll work it out. So, let's see. This guy's another bolter. Let's go ahead and move. Just move everybody up as much as possible in this initial round. This other group goes, we just want to kind of set up a protective line here. Uh, hopefully this works the way that it has worked traditionally, which is that even if the Dream Stealers come out of these tubes on this first turn, they won't actually be able to reach anybody. Yep. Okay, cool. So now what I need to look at doing is backing this guy up. fire as he backs up. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, because the door. Yeah, that's alright. We'll just spin you back around. He should fire when he sees them again. Let's go ahead and put him on overwatch. Flying secured. This guy, we will. Uh, well, we'll move these other guys through this hallway first. Uh, it looks like we can safely back him up. Let's go ahead and back him up and put him on Overwatch to cover the other. Scanning for enemy movement. And then we'll send these guys down this other hall. just because we can and let's see the thing that's bugging me about this scenario is I could have sworn that there was supposed to be another unit down here that I was supposed to be moving out of this area but maybe I'm just remembering it wrong maybe we find him as we're moving up here just not seeing him anywhere on the map. It's just really weirding me out because I know that that wasn't like that before. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so this guy. He 
basically a melee guy, so we'll just kind of never falter in the face of the enemy. Have him try to defend, I guess. And then these guys will move up. Yeah, it doesn't actually look like there's any danger of anything popping out here, so maybe I will uh, move up a little further. And let's just have these guys bring up the rear. Yes, brother, moving. Nice. They're jamming on the bolter, that's really nice. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and take a shot, I guess. Oh, I guess it did jam, he just didn't announce it. Resuming fire. Weird. Okay, let's uh, see if we can take this guy out. Of course not. <laughs> eh, that's alright, we'll just go back on Overwatch. And, uh. Let's get these guys moving. In the correct direction. be able to move this these guys their full movement amount so let's spend a couple extra points to get these doors open Have him step aside. Let's get these other guys moving up. Let's see what we want to do here. So this has always been one of my big complaints with this game. Like, I feel like a unit like this that's so melee focused, if you do a melee attack like this, it should just be a kill. As opposed to you dying. <laughs> like, what's the point of having a melee focused unit if it's just going to die every time it attacks something? And I understand, like... You can make the argument that maybe the original board game was like that, but 
that's not a good excuse you know like <laughs> that's not a good enough reason to not make an adjustment there just for the sake of fun and like good gameplay Now I've got to, uh, I'm going to have to put this guy on overwatch with my extra point. Flag secured. And then this guy will uh, get him facing the correct direction and put him on overwatch just in case things go sideways. All right, that should be good enough. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's see. Let's move this fella up. A little bit further. Affirmative. Keep him on the Overwatch tip. My aim is true. Let's go ahead and. We don't really have a lot of extra points here, so I want to save as many of his points for gun jams as possible. Let them come. So we'll just have him hold his ground and do that. And then uh, let's get these guys moving as far up as they can with the available points. We'll save one global point for. Uh, an extra gun jam this round. Can't quite move him up as much as I'd like, but that's okay. Not too worried about it. Now these guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Mm, I guess we'll use this guy. Should be fine to just securing position. Move him up. We'll uh, bring this guy into position. Have him cover just in case things go poorly. But they should be fine. Now this guy. Let's see if we can take that first guy out on jamming weapon hmm, so he can't back into that space doesn't have enough weird that he can't just step backwards uh, let's see if we can since we have a, an extra shared point, let's see if we can take that first one out. Nope. Oh well. Alright, hopefully the overwatch will be sufficient. Initiated. And same thing with this guy. Let them come. Alright, let's see if we survive that. Be 
No sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, Alter I knew. Function. Unjamming weapon. Man, that was unfortunate. Uh, now we got blips down here, of course. Let's see what these pinheads are up to. Moving ahead. Enemy sighted. enough action points that I can keep backing this guy up. Alright, let's set up a little crossfire action here. Securing position. They will fall. this guy around just in case things get hairy. Okay, he's a flamer, so we'll back him up a little bit. Over here. Alright, it's probably time to move this guy up. Actually, we'll move. Uh, never mind. We'll move him up here. Taking position. And let's go ahead and get this other guy headed towards this other door. Here has not gone so well. Um, let's go ahead and spin this guy. Get him Watching over. for enemy contact. Overwatch. Same thing here. That'll be enough. Okay, this still should be pretty manageable, but let's uh, see if we can get lucky on this blind shot as we turn. Oops. Select. Let's get him facing the enemy. They come. Yeah, his reaction shots never seem to hit. Alright, let's back this guy off. It would be really nice someday if one of those actually killed something. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's use some of our shared points and get this guy on Overwatch. Overwatch initiated. Now these guys... Looks like they're in good shape down here. Let's um, bring this guy out and... Uh, cover that hallway. Go 
watch him. Why not? Weapon at the ready. And then these guys will just worry about getting them forward as much as possible. My initial kind of feeling playing this uh, is that it's not not too different from what I remember. Like it feels basically the same. Like I was kind of hoping that maybe they had uh, done some tweaking of the random number generator or something to make it feel a little more fun or fair. Um, but it seems like it's just as like diabolically harsh as it's ever been in terms of the dice rolls. Um, which is a bit unfortunate. I, from the limited reading I did about the new version that they're working on, it seems like they may be trying to look at abandoning some of the more hardcore rules of the board game in favor of making a more fun video game. And uh, I guess what's that? what that's going to allow them to do is to kind of preserve this very strict implementation of the board game that they have here. Um so kind of by making it two separate products or two separate entities uh, maybe that allows them to to kind of try to please both audiences let them come um, but I know my experience uh, with this game thus far has basically been you know hey it's pretty pretty hardcore <laughs> That should be enough points for gun jams and such. Yeah, let's go ahead and call that good enough. My bolter has failed. Resuming fire. up there shouldn't be too much of a problem all right let's see about getting us through this door that wasn't an auto fire there honestly uh, let's go ahead and back off and see if we can get lucky oh my goodness that actually worked wow that was rare that was a rare success I will take it okay uh, let's go ahead and our guys up here. Advance, brothers. targets down here but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be at least somewhat cautious just stay on overwatch Let them come. and then on this side looks like we managed to clear that so 
since we know we actually have enemies over here, let's go ahead and uh, spin this guy around and put him on Overwatch in this other room in case this guy's bolter jams. And then um, what we're also going to need to do is look at setting this guy up to attack if necessary. Order confirmed. Holding. Get this guy ready to deal with these blips. I don't think there will be more than six, so we don't have to worry about reloading him just yet. We want to make sure we maximize the effectiveness Watching of that reload. Contact. And let's see how that plays out. My down. I'm having weather. My weapon has failed me. on that side. Okay, I don't think we lost anybody, so that's good. Not a lot of shared points this round, though, so that's not so good. Let's spin this guy around and see what he can see. Enemy sighted. Oh. Wow. Okay, maybe the they did... Spirits guide my fire. Maybe they did tweak some, uh, some numbers a little bit, because seem to be making some of these reaction shots which is very exciting my aim is true all right so these guys got a uh... okay let's get this melee guy up out of here he's not going to be particularly useful anyway. You shouldn't have to worry about anything coming from that direction. They should be able to reach him in one turn. Let's just move him up. And then, yeah, this direction will keep covered. Just in case anybody decides to get cute and show up. Stay alert, brothers. And then this guy still has four shots. Probably enough. We can probably go another round without him reloading. Holding position. Keep him on that. And then we need to move our other guys up. At this point, we can probably safely just retreat out of this corridor. Let's go ahead and start looking at bringing him forward. And then this guy can come up. I guess we'll just bring you up and on overwatch just in case, but there really shouldn't be anything for you to fire at. Oh, you need to unjam your weapon. The machine anyway. spirits have answered my prayers. That's cool. That's perfectly cool. Alright, um, I'm just going to save those points for this round. Yeah, let's just save those for unjams. <laughs> My weapon is jammed. Weapon operational. Alright, cool. I should be able to flame that corridor next turn. 
take care of whatever creepy crawlies are in there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just start running these guys out of here. I think we just uh, put him on overwatch to cover that. Let them come. Let's run this guy out. Over here we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and uh, start back in. Yes, my lord. We'll go one more turn on Overwatch with him just in case anything shows up. And then this guy, let's boogie him out, out of here. Yeah, no blips down there, so we should be good. And up here. Lips, but we'll put it on Overwatch just to be safe. And I think, oh wait, yeah, let's just let's start moving guys out of here, out of the way. This will be our two point guys that'll clear the path for the escape. Yeah, got some blips coming, but they're pretty far away at this point. It's going to take them a couple turns just to catch us. I'm not too worried about that. Alright, let's start looking at uh, moving these guys out of the way here. So since there's no blips up here yet, I'm going to move this guy his full four to clear a path. And let's, uh, let's get this train rolling. spend a point here just to get some space. I could get him here on four if I could move this guy out of the way. So let's go ahead and do that. It's probably a decent use of those points. closer. Uh, no more blips over here. Let's go ahead and get these guys 
guys as far up as we can. Try to consolidate up here in the top part of the map. I don't think anything can reach the end of this hall, but let's just put him on Overwatch to be safe. And call that good. Okay, so the most important thing we need to do at this point is clear this hallway so this guy can get turned around and cover the rear. So let's go ahead and move him up. And so that's be two, and then two to turn around, and then two to go on Overwatch, but that doesn't leave any for weapon jams. Maybe I should just run for it. I might be better off just running for it. Move! Because they shouldn't be... Let's see... So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I move up one, they shouldn't be able to reach me. Hopefully I'll get enough points. With all due haste. Next round that I can make a better move. And let's just look at getting everybody out of here ASAP. I guess I might as well, um, oh, you know what, I don't think I can prematurely reload. Uh, that's right, no, it takes 4 AP to reload, so I'm going to have to wait till next round to do that anyway. I'm just going to have these guys beeline for the exit. Definitely going to be a bit of a kill box here. Okay, I got some more points to work with this time, though, which is good. So what we need to look at doing is getting these guys out of harm's way as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and do that. I 
all my extra AP is going to go to this guy basically to set him up and get him uh, oriented in the Advanced right way. Brothers. The okay, so now all, all of my extra AP has to go to Going into Overwatch. covering our back, um, which is fine. We'll cover our front here. I'm almost tempted to reload so I have full ammo and don't have to waste a turn reloading later. But I hate to waste four shots because uh, that probably would kill at least whatever comes out this turn. Now let's go ahead Order and just confirmed. do Holding. that. And then let's boogie for the exit. I'm gonna save that one point for a weapon jam though. It's all going to come down to if this guy's weapon jams more than once, then he's going to die, and probably the other guy too, but hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> they come. Weapon malfunction. Weapon operational. Man. Ugh. So frustrating. Okay, let's get everybody out of here as quickly as possible. Alright, so, yeah, with only two points left to spare, that doesn't really give me a lot of good options. I mean, I could go three to get up here, but then I wouldn't have enough to go on Overwatch, and I'd still be screwed if the gun jams. I think my only real recourse is going to be to stand my ground and hope that I can at least kill the guy in front of me. Let's go ahead and take another shot. That definitely seems to be working better than it ever did previously, so I will definitely give them props on that for sure. Order confirmed. Holding. Because I, I feel like it previously, like those would have been misses. <laughs> so 
Hopefully that was a bug fix uh, of some kind. All right, now it's time to reload him. So he'll be good to go when the next wave comes out. And we'll save the two shared points for gun jams and hope for the best. My weapon is jammed. The machine spirits have answered my prayer. Oh, you scum lords. Oh boy, this could be real bad. <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, see what we can do to get out of here. Securing position. save every point I can for that other guy. Cleanse the monstrosity. Overwatch should take care of the rest of them as they advance. Now, let's see if I can get this guy out of here. Okay, so I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points to work with. So let's see, seven, five, two to spin around, one for Overwatch. Four, two to spin around. Four plus one, two to spin around. Seven, two for Overwatch is nine, but nothing for a gun jam. So we want four, two to spin around. Six, two for Overwatch, plus one for a gun jam. I think that's the safest bet. Watching for enemy contact. Yeah, so hopefully he won't jam more than once. Alright, um, do we move these guys up this turn? Yeah, it looks like we did. Okay, let's see what happens.
GTFO. this guy's what's this guy down to yep he's out of ammo so he should book and actually that guy's dead so can we get anybody else into safety this turn yeah let's get you out of here The information in the nice. Cyber Altered Task Unit is ours, and with it we can press our advantage. I knew one you of those guys was carrying that. The blood spilled <laughs> this day. All right, cool. A little uglier than I would have liked, but uh, still good. Still good. So I guess, I guess the one guy had the give item icon, and that was supposed to be my indicator that he was carrying that thing. It's weird, though, because I swear that it used to label the unit that was carrying that item. It's weird that it's not the case, but maybe I just missed it somehow. Anyway, victory is victory. Good times. The assault continues, but not without losses. Two brother tech marines have been lost to the enemy though their armor continues to transmit life signs. It is unthinkable that the gene seed of the Blood Angels should fall into the hands of the gene stealers. Peace will be theirs, even if it must be at their brother's hands. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. Two squads are at your command. Terminators enter here. Scanners indicate enemy movement in these areas. These are your targets. Find our missing brothers. Should they be beyond salvation, their destruction must be assured. Prayers of vengeance steal our souls. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I kind of feel like this is maybe a good thing for me to do one of these missions a day uh, for the stream. Like maybe this could take the place of those Hearthstone streams I've been doing. Uh, maybe do like one of these campaign missions every day for like my hour long stream. Um, yeah, I, I feel like while there's still some jive that's happening with some of these dice rolls and, and I'm still really disappointed in how poorly melee units function uh, given that that's the only thing they can do is melee attacks um, I still kind of feel like maybe uh, at least the gun units or at least the uh, reef uh, the reaction shots on the gun units seem to be a little more effective and that might be enough to kind of push things over the top and make this a bit more playable because i i love this game in premise i really do it's 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 right up my alley the whole squad based turn based tactical gameplay aspect of it but in the state it was in the last time i tried to play it it was just a little bit too frustrating like it felt like you were just so much at the mercy of the dice rolls and the dice rolls were so often weighted in such a way where even if you employed really sound tactics, it seemed like you could never quite get the job done in a lot of the more complicated missions. So I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll give this another go. Maybe we'll do like a daily uh, Space Hulk stream until I complete all of the missions in the campaigns and such. Um, or at least do it until I get to a point where it's gets too frustrating or uh, annoying <laughs> again 
and uh, who knows maybe I can get uh, Blue Orthodox to help me with some of the cooperative stuff or at least the the missions that are co-op enabled because uh, not every campaign mission is co-op enabled which is kind of a bummer because they do this kind of strict thing where the only missions they make co-opable are the ones that have multiple squads which seems kind of lame to me because I feel like an easy solution to that would have been to just divide up the squad and give like some of the units to one player and some to another like I get that the squads are usually made up of five units so there'd be an uneven amount but it would still be nice to be able to play every campaign mission cooperatively and it seems like that would be a really easy way to do that you know it seems like the like even if just the host of the game could say like which player controlled what units then you could just kind of divide it up however you wanted like you could literally have five player co-op with each you know person controlling a unit or something like that but i guess the problem with that is with how fragile some of the units are it might seem unfair like if like if i was the person who had to play the melee unit i'd be kind of bummed out so i can kind of understand why they want to give people full squads to control but it's also nice to give people options and I feel like that's maybe where I'm a little disappointed in their co-op implementation I feel like they could have taken it maybe a step further than they did uh, and that's uh, somewhat disappointing but needless to say I still think this is a pretty cool game and I do have at least some hope that uh, they will bring like the same level of post-launch really support to that new Jagged Alliance game that they have to this. Like it feels like they've gotten this game to a pretty good state where, you know, they basically delivered on all the things they said they were going to do with it um, and uh, made the requirements or the refinements that are necessary to make it a pretty solid game. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I think that's going to about do it for me for this for now. Um, yeah, I think I will play some more of this maybe off and on over the next couple of weeks. Like I say, maybe a mission a day or something like that. Just a real short half hour to hour long stream uh, just to kind of explore the game more thoroughly. It kind of gives me an excuse to go in and play more of it and do some of those missions that I only did in co-op or only did in multiplayer. Uh, do them in single player and see how that works uh, with this latest version of the game. So, uh, until next time, Space Hulk. <laughs>